Hello guys, welcome back to Code 4. Today we'll be seeing Sudocode Basics Episode 4. Here's how to learn better, not longer. Before starting the video, if you haven't watched the previous episodes of the Pseudocode Basics series, check the description for the link or click the card on your screen. Array Table of Contents What is an array? What is a 1D array? Pseudocode examples of it and using loops in an array. First of all, what is an array? An array is a data structure that consists of a set of values of the same data type. Arrays are used to store multiple values in a single variable instead of declaring separate variables for each value. The image shows an example of an array. The array variable is called ARR in this example and inside the square brackets are the index of an array. For example, if ARR is a table and each has separate columns in it, the first column is called 0th index. So they are accessing the value in the 0th index of the array variable. So what is a 1D array? 1D dimensional arrays are identified by the, by the use of a single name and each item in the list can be found showing the place in the list. The table below shows an example of a 1D array. The table is an array and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are elements in the array. To give you a better perspective of what 1D array is, let's look about 2D array. Each box has an array in it. So the blue table itself is an array and each box that is each element has an array of its own inside it. This is the difference between 1D and 2D array. In order to use 1D array, you need to consider what the array is going to be used for so you can give a meaningful name for it how many items are going to be stored so the size of the array can be determined what sort of data is going to be stored so the array can be the appropriate data type let's get to know about what is an index and an element the first table shows the elements and the tables below shows the index the element 56 has an index of 0 so if an array has a name ARR, ARR square bracket and 0 would return the element 56. Moving on to the next topic, we have pseudocode examples. Declare array of array from 1 through 10 of integer. The data type is integer and we are creating an array. To visualize that, I have created a table from 1 through 10. To loop through them, that is to print 1, 2, 3, 4, we are creating a for loop. First n in array that means the first value in the array so it outputs 1 then n is equals n plus 1 so the next time n becomes the next value that is the second value so it prints the second value 2 again 1 is added to it so it prints 3 then 4 then 5 etc this is how we can loop through an array thank you guys thank you for watching Credits. This presentation template was created by Slidescope including icons like flat icon and infographics and images by Freepik. Make sure you subscribe, like and share our videos to help others.